everyone, I made a salad in here and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the simple versatile cowl. And it's just a small cowl that you can wear in fall and winter or spring if it gets a little chilly without having to make an entire scarf. So I'd use a v-stitch and single crochet pattern. So if you know how to chain, double crochet, and single crochet, you can make this. What you're going to need for this is just one skein of any worsted weight yarn and the one in the picture is the Karen one pound which obviously didn't take anywhere near the entire skein and today I'm going to use the Deborah Norville Everyday Soft Worsted and you need an eye or a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook as well as a yarn needle and one 3 fourth inch button to get the look that I have in the pictures or you can go without the button if you like it still works really well. Okay, we're going to start with our slip knot and we're going to chain 96. Okay, and I've got my chain of 96 here and I'm going to join it. So just be careful not to twist. So I like to crochet into the back of my loop, so I just make sure that I straighten it out. all the way down to the end, make sure that it's not twisted, and then I go ahead and find the first, and I get my hook in here, okay, and then double check that it's nice and even and not twisted, okay, mine looks good. Sometimes it isn't and I have to redo it, so if that is you, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and try it again. Now get to here where you can see your loops. Now, row one, we're going to chain one and then single crochet in the same stitch as joined. So fine, you can see mine's joined right here. You can see mine's joined right here. So I'm going to single crochet right here in this same loop. Okay, and then chain one. We're going to skip the next two chains. So if you look at the back here, we're going to skip this one and this one. And now we're going to do a V-stitch in the next chain. So this chain right here, we're working to a V-stitch is just a double crochet. A chain one and another double crochet in the same stitch. Okay, you see you have a little V right here and then you're going to chain one. Skip the next two and you're going to single crochet right here. Chain one, skip the next two, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, so a V-stitch. Chain one. Skip the next two chains, single crochet, and just repeat this all the way around, skipping two chains in between, doing a V-stitch, skip two, chain one, single crochet. Skip the next two, chain one, all the way around to the last five chains. Okay, and I made it down to my last five chains. 
you skip two of those chains, and a chain one, and then a V stitch, and the third here. So V stitch, we're going to double crochet. So I'm holding my yarn a little differently than I normally do, trying to make it a little easier for you to follow. And then chain one and double crochet. And then you chain one and you're going to join with a slip stitch to this first single crochet right here. Okay, so you should have this first row V stitch, single crochet, V stitch, single crochet. So it should be alternating all the way around. Now for row two, for round two, you're going to chain four. And this counts as the first double crochet in chain one. You're making a V stitch here and then you're going to double crochet in the same stitch. And then chain one. You're going to single crochet right in the middle of the V stitch from the last round. So just work a single crochet right in here. Chain one. Now we have a V stitch in this single crochet. So pretty easy to remember, you're V-stitching in the single crochets from the round below and single crocheting in your chain one spaces or of your V-stitches. So here we go, here's our V-stitch. Okay, chain one. Single crochet right here in the middle of your V-stitch. Okay, repeat this all the way around to the last V stitch. Okay, now I've made it around to my last V stitch. I'm going to chain one, single crochet right here in the last V stitch. So as I'm working on this new way of holding my yarn. So I'm not terribly good at it yet. Okay, there you go, chain one. And now join with the slip stitch to the third chain in your turning chain. So one, two, three, and join right here to complete round two. You can see how the stitches build upon one another. V stitch has a single crochet, and a single crochet has a V stitch. Okay, so round three, we're going to chain one, single crochet in the chain one space of the first V stitch. So that was where we started, right here, where we did the chain four and then the double crochet to make a V stitch. So go ahead and single crochet right here, chain one, V sticks in your next single crochet right here. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same space. And we're just going to do what we did on the last round where we chain one, single crochet in the V space, chain one, V space, V stitch in the single crochet. So We'll work this all the way around, like we did in the last round, until you get to the last single crochet this time. Okay, here I am at my last single crochet, right here. And so I'm going to chain one and work a V stitch in the last single crochet.
chain one and join with a slip stitch to your first single crochet. And that'll complete round three. Now you complete repeat rounds two and three until it reaches six inches or the desired length. If you want it longer, you can do that. But you just repeat these two simple ones now. So you start with the chain four for the next round and the double crochet. So you start with the V stitch and work all the way around. And then the next round starts with the single crochet in that V stitch. And you really just build them on top of each other. So you can see the single crochet, the V stitch on top of the single. It's a super easy two row repeat that looks really nice. And you just keep working those two rows until it is as tall as you would like it. I said mine's about six inches. It can be as long as you want it to be. Then you weave in your ends and you decide on your button placement. For me, I just put it on and kind of played with it a little bit and put my button on there where I liked it and then sew it on. And it's a super easy, quick project that can keep your neck warm and makes a great gift. So be sure to check out amandasaladin.com for more than 65 other free crochet patterns. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe.